Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today is another Tipman TCL high power tuning talk. Um, we try to tune the gun to high power as you can see in the past. It can reach up to 35, 34 joules with breaker balls. But um, that is not the point. The point is like our previous uh, chrono result, when the gun have so much power, the CO2 is used up too fast and also freezing up too fast and that's not a good thing, right? So you only get like 7, 10 shot, or whatever, and you cannot finish the whole magazine of 12. We are aiming to get one 12 gram CO2 for 13 shots, and that should bring us to a 24, 25 joules range, to be fair, and you know, about that kind of range. So now let's go to the ground and grab some balls. Okay, so now we're gonna sit here and plug balls in, fill up the magazine. Now these are clean, don't worry. Okay, I just shot it at my trap, which is very clean as well. Uh, so these are 6.2 grams breaker balls. And we're now going in the journeys of finding our balls. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Sounds funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, this gun is really powerful. But it's hard to set it to the point that you can say it's very practical. So we need to really think about what to do, you know. Okay. So, before we start, um, let's bring out our CO2 here. Oh my god, no more CO2, you see? We used to want a CO2. Okay, time to get CO2. CO2. Okay, Crossman CO2, fresh and new. Okay, kick this out. Okay, fresh CO2. And don't forget that the, um, the adjustment for the CO2 uh, size just like a TIPX pistol you better adjust this properly or else it will really fail badly on you it just failed on me before <laughs> this video was made okay anyway uh, adjusting it to a lower pressure or lower power and you could have got to go like that and tune it down so I'm just gonna do it about one and a half turn okay so basically not higher the better for this screw sometimes I try higher you can go over the 35 joules mark and then it start to get lower power again it's more like a balance that you're seeking not the not the further that you have to uh, plug the thing okay now I'm thinking at this power level I will get all the three uh, 280s and such okay very nice the trigger is just having a tiny play which is awesome okay let's see chrono result we're aiming for about 280, 290 ish, which is about the 25 or 24 joules mark. If we can shoot that and empty all 12 rounds here, that is going to be the most optimal setup so far. Okay, so let's go. No leaks. Very nice. First shot, 274. Whoa, too high. 330. Still too high somehow. 319 307 297 300 309 hey this one is pretty nice 263 243 200 uh, 190 and I think we're done so so did we actually finish all the balls here yes we did okay very nice so we're at the 25 joules range and it did finish all the balls I think for the uh, as you see on the lower side like the, the, the last few shots it's starting to get very weak too so I think just to detune it one more time okay I would like to detune it a little bit more so tweak this one over here okay half a turn might get me there okay let's uh, get a new steel 2 going guys okay and okay, let's get a new steel 2 in should do the job so yeah okay this one the co2 is kind of loose as, as you can see okay so we have to 
take your Allen key and then screw this thing to adjust it. Okay, that is one thing I don't like about the uh, Tipman TIPX and TCR. You need to be really sensitive with the CO2 settings. Okay, if it's too loose, it's no good. Uh, if it's too tight, it's still no good. It's very harsh. So you need to preset or test a lot of CO2 just for this gun to use, and it's very specific. If you're like a little bit too much, it's going to pre-puncture the CO2 and you're going to have accidents. It's still too little. You see how much we have to turn? Okay, this is really insane. Okay, I think I'll just leave it here, maybe. A little bit more. Okay, that might do the trick. Yeah, it's better than before. Not perfect, but... Okay, it's better than before, not perfect, but I think it would do the job. And now let's go grab some balls right here, as you can see, right on the ground, 6.2 gram fricker balls. Okay, we just detuned it, and since, as you can see, this CO2 is shorter than the, the previous one, it will have less um, gas in there, and so I'm suspecting that it cannot finish the whole mag, uh, even though we're at the sweet spot. But if it can finish, then uh, it means that the longer CO2 will be able to do it too. So sometimes, you know, looking at this gun, you, it's really CO2 uh, length sensitive. You need to do a lot of experiment and uh, settings with the CO2. Okay, let's go. Laser on. Okay, ready guys. CO2 pierce, no problem, no leaks. Uh, 258. Whoa. 338, 319, 295, 305, whoa, I detuned it, what the heck, 286, 221, no more air, wow, holy shit, this is not good. So a lot of balls is left. I'm not sure why. I'm sure I detuned it, but it just uh, got up tuned. What the heck? Okay, trying one more CO2 with you guys, and maybe that's it for today. So I'm going to detune it a little bit more. Okay, right now you can see it's really stiff because the previous one uh, it's really small. So I'm sure that's the reason. Okay, so adjust the CO2. You see, you have to always have this Allen key with you um, if the CO2 is the problem. You don't want to, you know, even... Okay, this CO2 is too loose. So tighten. Okay, maybe leave it here. That should be do it. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so we're gonna detune the gun a little bit more today and see what happens. Because somehow the more I detune right now, it's still shooting that surprise uh, 338, 330-ish FPS. And I don't want that to happen. I want it to shoot lower. So it's having a velocity spike there. I'm not sure why yet, but definitely not good, okay? And you see the first shot is 258. So it's surely going to perform uh, lower power, but somehow the spike is there. Maybe the regulator is uh, working up or whatever, I don't know. Okay, let's do a little bit more detune here. So sticking this thing in, finding that sweet spot. Okay, detune it halfway more, okay? Let's see what happened. So this is our last CO2 of today, detuning. Okay guys, let's go. CO2 peers. Whoops, didn't put the uh, mag in. Ha, huh. stupid me. Okay, first shot is fired anyway. 230, 227. It's better. Two, uh, 314, sorry, 330, 
27. Okay. 305. 314 again. 302. Okay, a lot of threes. That's really nice because uh, it's consistent. 291. That's better. Okay, 242. 215. No more. Okay, still not good. Still have uh, balls inside. Still not good. So the detune is not successful. As you can see, the CO2 is going fast and very cold as well. I don't know what happened, but I keep detuning it and it's not doing the trick today. Okay, so um, more work to be done. When I find the sweet spot, I'll showcase it again in a video. Uh, just, just that this video is one of the video I'm showing you the progress of the detuning and how frustrating it can get. So if you're actually doing it at home, you see how many CO2 can go through just for detuning. So um, today, actually, before making my first video, I'm getting a nice result with 13 shots per CO2 and getting all the 280s. But right now, after a little bit of tweakings, somehow everything just falls apart and uh, it never performed the same again. My suggestion right now is leave the gun there for one day. Tomorrow, we'll try again. And this uh, Tipman TIPX and the TCR have uh, common issues, which is after the tuning, okay, you will shoot very hot. And then, and then um, you put down the gun for a night, let it, let it sleep, you know, do nothing. And then the next morning you try it again, the FPS will drop right away and then go back to the normal state. And then the next day um, you try to tune it up, it's going to work up like that again. So that's one thing I really don't like about the TIPX and TCR. It have that um, jumpy FPS that is hard to grab on. Uh, well, the, the T8.1 does not have this problem at all. So we'll leave the gun there for one night and then try to tune it again tomorrow. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.